Hello guys, today I'm going to be walking through how to set up a Spectrum 6250 fly barless unit using a Lion T-Rex 700. So basically make sure your servos all all ready, you got your fly barless unit on, you don't have any of the uh, servo plugs bound yet, and then we just need to bind the receiver. So it's pretty simple, but sometimes people can get messed up on this, on how it works. So you're going to go to your bind your bind plug and you're going to, going to plug it in obviously power it on once it's blinking you're going to hit your trans on your transmitter bind button and it should be solid so then you're going to pull the, the that receiver out and you're going to plug in your satellite receiver plugs into the rx1 and once that's plugged in you're going to do the whole same thing binding it then once that's Bound, it's not going to really bind it's going to have like a it feels like it's bound but it's not you're not going to get a solid light here then you're going to plug your first receiver and second receiver in you're then it's going to get a blinking light on on this receiver and then once it's once it's blink then both of them are going to be blinking then you bind it to your transmitter and it should work that's how it is so just remember that your satellite receiver is going to be on rx1 so once you have that set up, you're going to go back into your radio. You're going to go into forward programming. Make sure your safe is on. You're going to go into you're going to go into setup. Swash plate. Output. And then make sure that your frame rate is going to be whatever it is. Just have to Google that for your servos or your cyclic servos. Your, your type is going to be, so you notice this, it's going to A, B, and C. So if basically it looks like this. So A, B, and C. Now, number one on your fly barless unit, if it's a non-spectrum ESC, it's going to be, number one is going to be your throttle. Number two is A, number three is B, and number four is C. So that's kind of how, how that works. It just goes systematically down. Now, if you're using a smart, one is going to be A, two is throttle, then three is going to be B. That's kind of how that works. Then after you got your type, you're going to go direction. And mine just works out to be up is up, down is down, right and left. That, that all works out well. Now on some helicopters, when you go up, it, you, it actually needs to go down, and that's going to be in a different sec. That's going to be in a different section. When you go up, that goes down. So I, I'll show you that in a different section. And then the last one in this section is is the sub trim. And all you do is what you're going to do is you're going to 90 your servos, put a swash plate leveler on it right here, and then once that's at everything's flat you know, that can go up and down normally then you're going to level your blades uh, using zero pitch on your throttle um, or you could do you actually could do sub trim too that would work out the same but you want to zero your blades on your helicopter that way so once you get done with that you're going to go back into your AFR mode and then what you want to do is so AFR is going to be roll so then this one it's going to be basically going horizontally with your helicopter and you're going to put your pitch gauge on it and you're going to go all the way to the right and you want 12 and a half degrees of pitch it doesn't have to actually be 12 and a half degrees it could be 10 but just keep it consistent with your roll and pitch and it's just a geometry setting and whenever you do that, you do up, it's going to automatically match to down. So if you do 12 and a half, it's going to automatically match 12 minus or 10 minus. It doesn't matter, but that's what you need to do. Then you're going to go over to your pitch, which is right here. Your pitch and pitch is going to be this way and you're going to pull back and you're going to get your 12 and a half degrees or whatever you need to do that. Sometimes you want less degrees of pitch if your swash plate is going to hit something you've got mechanical issues you can do less it's going to be the same thing okay and then you're gonna then you're gonna do your your collective right here you go up 
whatever you want. 8 degrees, 10 degrees, 12 and a half, whatever. After that, so then after that, it's basically set up. You're going to have 12 degrees of pitch. We're going to say, we're, for the sake of the conversation, everything's just going to be at 10 degrees. That's what this one is, and it works out well. So we have 10 degrees up, um, but on this one, we have like 14 degrees down. So when you're doing technical maneuvers or just or going up, you can bog the motor down. So we have to somehow change that. So what you're going to have to do is go into here, into your radio, go and get, exit out of that. Go into servos. You're going to go into travel. And for pitch, you're going to go down, go down to, you're going to go down to pitch. And then you're going to find your, find your, find your 10, 10 degrees pitch on your, with your pitch gauge. And then minus 10 degrees pitch. And then boom, you got it. You could do it with your ailerons and servos, uh, ailerons and elevator too, if you'd like. But that's how, how that works. Okay, so then we're going to go in back into forward programming and do our tail. Which is going to go to model adjust. Forward programming. Setup. Tail rotor. Output. So you're going to Google what you have for your tail servo. Direction, obviously. Sub trim, you know how that works. Center your center your servo that way. And then what you're going to do is, oh, I should say direction. Direction can be confusing. So when you're go to the left, it should come towards you. Go to the right, it should go away from you. So that's the direction on that. Also, I will just tell you too, if your main blades go clockwise, your tail should go counterclockwise. Main blades go clockwise, tail blade goes counterclockwise. That helps out on that. And you want your blades to go kind of grab the, the grass and kind of come up. That's the way you want it. So F mode, we have aux 2 and gain, we have gear. And the other thing that is is important too, we go into swash plate. So for roll, this is it says hold right now. You're going to make sure whatever roll you do, it's going to be stunt one, stunt two. So you're gonna to have to adjust it for each mode that you have. So that's right now it's on stunt two. If you want a faster roll rate, you just increase Increase this number right here. One more step is you have to go into setup. Gyro setting. Orientation. And just check out which one, what position that you want it located to your helicopter. Explains what the picture looks like versus what your fly barless unit is. And that's just what you do. Also in setup. I'm going to go to throttle. I'm going to go to fail safe. And what I like to do is put throttle hold on and put my sticks to middle and then hit capture. So I'm just going to go up to like right about there, hit capture, and it's done. All we're going to have to do is we can just go into mixing. Then mixing, you just, I have, it works for me. Uh, you're going to have gear to gear, plus 125, offset, minus 100. And then I have switch A, which I like it here. You can put it on any switch you want. Then you go back. You go into gyro. You can have your gyros about 75, 75, kind of right there. Gear, channel, on channel gear. And then after that, there's only one last thing that you need to do. Let's go into here, <coughs> and this is for setting up, um, so you can have safe safe mode, panic recovery. Aux 2 is flight mode, uh, gear number 5 is gears A, and then this one, we have gears gyro, aux 2 is aux 2. 
So that's basically it. So in a nutshell, that's how you set up a fly barless unit for the 6250. Pretty easy once you figure everything out. Sometimes uh, people don't tell you exactly how to do it or it's not super detailed, but that's basically all it is. It's super simple. Uh, the main thing out of it is once you get your blades leveled and you set your pitches up, just get everything fine-tuned and it should work well. Um, maybe next video I'm going to talk to you about how to set up the governor mode on it on that but um that, that's gonna be for next video but basically if you watch this video you can set it up and you can fly it right away should take you maybe a couple hours and you should have it done thanks for watching bye